I'm gonna have to try that out. Exit template. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, I want to try that out then. Wait, what? What? Mind blowing. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to the MGN channel. Now, I'm your host, Cornish, and today I want, I want to discuss a certain game. This is going to be a completely different video from what I normally do here in the MGN.TV. But, after playing the entire game, I kind of felt like this is going to have to be one of those important videos, because this actually has a meaning to, and that game is super liminal. Superliminal is a first-person puzzle-based game with the forced perspective and optical illusion. The player's character, who is yourself, is a patient in the dream therapy program. But during the study, the character becomes trapped in the recurring dream cycle and is guided by the voice of the study's overseer, Dr. Glenn Pierce, on how to escape the dream. Now, from the start, I want to say this game feels like Portal and the other game, the Stanley Parable. I think I pronounced that right, but... So, let's start off with the puzzles. This is the main important thing. One of the main important things. In every puzzle, you'll need to think outside the box. In order to progress through each level, you can change objects from forced perspective, or even think clearly outside the box. There are many times in my head in this game, I had to think outside the box. But the thing is, there are many cool puzzles from making a small wooden toy box to be large enough to climb up a ledge or to have a tiny hand size inflatable bouncy castle to make it big enough to fit for yourself for the door of the bouncy castle. No matter how far away from an item you are, you can pick it up and have a perspective to get closer for it to be large. Simple? <laughs> well, it's not the only thing you can do in these crazy optical illusions. There was one puzzle which got me to the point I spent an hour trying to figure out what to do. There was nothing to grab, I couldn't think of anything. And then, an hour later, I thought outside the box and grabbed the moon. find emergency exit. I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing those in to thinking it could possibly be something. I don't know, Doc. Your speeches aren't exactly filling me with confidence. <laughs> Honestly, my, my mind is... Thinking cat's not working very well. I feel like there's something in this room. Let's see if we can. The only I, I can't pick up any other object here apparently. I don't know. I can't think of it. I can't Toasty! think to save my life. Can't even pick anything up. Wait. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you oh up, oh my god, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For Back example, to the thinking cap. If you... 
And you know, that was so cool. That was amazing. But no, not only that, a, a thing I want to talk about as well is how this game evolves around your life and how it evolves everyone's life. Throughout the game, you're focusing on trying to get to the end. You have no idea why and you have no idea what's the outcome, but you are trying to figure out that outcome. This game kind of teaches you that no matter how hard you try, you would always survive. And that's not just like the game, it's your entire life. And it's crazy how they explain that to you. Why are we back Hello. here? My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. <laughs> because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, True. no matter how far wow. the path you were told you oh my headed, God. or how unexpected it became, Whoa. you found your way. Um, one of the coolest and most amazing games I've played for a while. And I, I feel like everyone should try this game. Not only just because it's a puzzle adventure a, a game, but it teaches you a lot of things. And there are some cool facts in the game. I would honestly recommend this to anyone. And the price is even better. Go and get it. And tell me what you think in the comments. And that is my little review on Superliminal. There's really not much to tell because for new players, this would be perfect. But for uh, people who's already been here, they'll totally understand what I mean about the whole um, perspective of life. I'm Cornish signing out. You take care and have a wonderful night. What? That was one of the most coolest games I've ever seen in my entire Toasty. life. <laughs> Talk about looking at life from a different perspective. <laughs> I know, dude. Toasty. 10 out of 10, man. 10 out of 10, this game. See, I thought we were still, we was going for a main protagonist, but it, we was actually doing stuff. We would push, as he was saying, you know. It showed us that anything we can, uh, we want to do, we can keep pushing ourselves. And that's what I did. I kept pushing myself.